What is up guys? It is Mercifice here with lesson number seven for learning Java. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up the math method. Uh, I'm going to show you a different way to round, uh, the minimum value, uh, how to make a random number, sine, cosine, tangent, how to convert from degrees to radians, from radians to degrees, etc, etc. Let's get started guys. So first of all, you can probably tell, you can probably notice that I'm not using BlueJay. Uh, BlueJay is kind of no longer working on my computer. I don't know why. I think it's a new version that they updated to that's 3.1. Um, for some reason, it's just whenever I create a new project and I start coding and I start, you know, compiling and doing that stuff, if I close out, for some reason that project becomes a read-only uh, and I can't change it. I can never edit a project after I've closed out of BlueJay. So it's quite pointless for me to try and continue working with that. So I'm going to be using Eclipse from now on. Um, I already have a new project loaded up, so I'm just going to start a new class. Project or file new. Go over to class. Now I'm going to call this class the uh, math math. Contin, con, cont, and uh, make sure that you have public static void main checked so it automatically loads up the main method. And here we have it like so. So today I'm going to be showing you uh, the better way to round. Last time I showed you how to cast a double to an integer, and uh, that's one way to round, but to not use the the math methods way. Uh, the math method way is pretty similar. Uh, it's a lot easier, actually. I'd, I'd recommend it majority of the time. Um, but first, I'm going to start off by making a system out print. Now, the good thing about Eclipse is that it has an IntelliSense feature. So if I start typing something in Eclipse, wait for a second. It's a little laggy when it first starts up. As you can see, when I press the dot, it comes up with all the possible options that I have. These are all the different things that I could do from here on. So I want to do system out dot. Comes up with print line, print, 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 close, flush, all these different options. It helps you kind of solve things as you're going along. Shows you parameters required, etc., etc. I think it's pretty nice. Another good feature is that it has shortcuts such as SYSO and then control space which automatically puts in a system out print line for you. But anyway, so I'm going to start off by using the, uh, the math methods way, and that's math.round. Uh, it's very simple. Then you just put in a double, which I'm going to put in, let's see, 7.6. 7 All right, space it out a little bit there. And then uh, next thing I'm going to do is the math.minimum, math.min. It'll get the minimum value from two parameters that are uh, two different numbers. So I'm going to put in 7 and 3. So obviously the minimum number is going to be 3 from that. Math.round is going to round it up to 8. Space it out again. And we're going to go into creating a random number. Now this is a little bit more difficult. has a little bit of a twist in creating it. Uh, most of the mo most, most of the math uh, features for the math method like math round, math min, math max, um, they have parameters inside the parentheses. Math random doesn't have that. It's kind of different and uh, so if I'm so let's let's start it off math dot random. That's what it's going to look like. I'll put this inside of parentheses. Oops. That's what math random is. It, it doesn't have anything inside of the parentheses, but you do do something to it. Now, you add and multiply to math random. Now, if you're going to create a range of an, a random number, if I want my uh, if I leave it like this, math random will come up with a random double number by the way it doesn't come up as an integer if you want it to be an integer you have to cast it uh, if I want a random double currently as is it will show up a random double between 0 and 1 if I want to change that range to change the x value 
the minimum value that it could be. It's not the x value. It's the minimum value that you could get. Uh, you add or subtract to math random. So if I want the minimum value in my range to be 10, I'm going to add 10 to math random. And that's going to increase it, but it's only going to be 10 to 11. That's where multiplication comes in. I'm going to multiply, and I'm going to multiply it by 6. And this is going to create my range from 10 to 15. Now you're saying, why is it 10 to 15 if I multiply it by 6? Well, you have to add a number when you're multiplying. So if I want my range to be 10 to 15, I have to add an extra, I have to add 1 to 5. So it's no longer, you know, if I had it as 5, it would be 14, et cetera, et cetera. You understand. You probably, you probably pick up. I'm over explaining this. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Let's see how this prints out. As you can see, 8, 3, 12.5. Does not matter how many times I compile this and run it, I will still get a random number between 10 and 15. 6 is the maximum, but it is not included. It is less than this uh, this maximum. So let's see. I want to change this from 6 to... I want to change it from 10 to 99. So we'll bring it up to 100. Let's run it. Over here is where uh, my compiling is going on, by the way. 53, 71, 80, oop, 106. Now, how did that happen? Well, the reason I, I messed up, personally, because it should be 90 and not 100. It's going from 10, it's adding 100, so it's going to be going from 10 to 109. We'll not get a number above 109. Probably won't be able to find one from compiling anyway. But, yeah, so that's that's math random. It's a little bit complicated. Uh, but you'll, you'll understand it much easier once you work around it a lot. Next thing we have is the sine, cosine, and tangent. They're all pretty much the same. It's math.sine, math.cosine, math.tangent. Actually, I don't need this. I'm going to go tangent of 30, cosine of 30, and sine of 30. Now, this is going to come out with, I'm fairly positive this comes out with the radian value. To convert the radian value to degrees, all you got to do is do math.2degrees, and then whatever you're going to convert from radian value to degrees. Now, we could set this math dot sign to a double or to uh, cast it to an integer but we're not going to do that instead we're just going to use that as our parameter for the two degrees so math dot sign of 30 and we'll see how that comes out compile Got negative 0 0.90, 0 0.15, and negative point negative six. All right, that's definitely that doesn't sound right, but that is the sine, cosine, and tangent values. Uh, that's the video for today. It's a nine-minute video. Next video is going to be something a little bit more interesting. Uh, I plan to do some if-else statements in the next video. Uh, some future videos are going to be for loops, switch cases. Uh, stuff like that. So stay tuned, subscribe, favorite, like, do what you do. See you guys.